Well, it's that time of year again, and all eyes are on football. As always, Bet Online is your number one spot for all the pro and college football action. Get all the most up to date info, odds, props, and contests at Bet Online, so don't wait. Take advantage of all the great offers available to you. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Bet Online, where the game starts. Do I have to put this on? Tonight at MLW One Shot, Ricochet taking on Shane Strickland. And what a battle, Tony, this is going to be. We check out how these two match up, and we think it's going to be a pretty even matchup. Six foot, 191 pounds for Shane Swerve Strickland. 5'10", 197 pounds, very similar styles. And as we talked about, they are friends and they have trained together. They know each other very, very well, and that may come to work against them, each man. But yeah, if you look at the tail of the tape here, very evenly matched up, and, and I'm looking forward to it, I really am. This tale of the tape brought to you by Totino's. Look for specially marked Totino's pizza rolls at Party Pizza to receive in-game content for Middle Earth, Shadow of War, and Forza Motorsport 7 on Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. Tony, the anticipation has been building all night long. What makes this so great is that I've seen Strickland, I've seen Ricochet, I've watched some of their events on YouTube. I haven't seen them in person yet, Rich, so I'm really excited about this. I know what they both can do. The fact that they, oh, here we go. The fact that they both are close friends like we talked about really makes a difference in this. Not so friendly heading into this one. Well, you, you wonder if it's a friendly competition. It sure didn't seem that way. It really seems like Ricochet is almost offended by the fact that Shane Strickland says he's gonna come out here and beat him tonight. Well, look, we've heard that that Ricochet says, gonna make you bend the knee, that I meant so much to all of these guys here in wrestling, here in Major League Wrestling, that, you know, we, we talked about, you know, he has trained some of these guys. So he really thinks that he's owed a lot. And I understand that, I really understand that. Everybody's got their own cross to bear. Everybody's got their own opinion. So he's made this personal is what he's done. And that's that's what makes it exciting when it's a personal vendetta. And it, it's, it's just kind of a war of words right now. And now we're gonna see what happens in the ring. Has to be the biggest match in Shane Strickland's career up no to question. this point. No question. Will he thrive under the pressure? Yeah, you know. Or will, or, or will it prove to be too much for him? Ricochet in, in some of those fantastic MLW 360 pieces, which you can find on MLW.tv. Ricochet said that. He's got all the media attention. Shane Strickland, the spotlight is on him. Can he survive it? Yeah, and Strickland also told us he's trained harder for this match than any match that he's ever trained for. Let's see if it, it helps him out. All hail the king, right? Not LeBron James, which is who he models himself after, we understand. But here he comes. He's got a great presence, doesn't he? He really does. He, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys that just demands attention when he comes to the ring. We talked about King LeBron. Well, Ricochet considers himself the LeBron James of professional wrestling. Yeah, he might be right there. The number one free agent in professional wrestling, Ricochet. And if Shane Strickland can pull out a victory here tonight, not only, and look at that, Ricochet just brushing right by his opponent. Like he's not even there. Let the mind games begin. Well, they, they've begun even before then, but even more so now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a now time for your MLW One Shot main event. It is scheduled for one fall and has no time limit. Your referee in charge, senior MLW official, Frank Gastineau. Woo! Introducing first to my right, wearing the blue trunks, 
with black boots, weighing in this evening at 191 pounds from Tacoma, Washington, the International Swerve, Shane Strickland! And his opponent, to my left, wearing the red tights, with white and black design. Weighing in this evening at 196 pounds from Paducah, Kentucky, Rico You know, Rich, nonverbals mean so much, and not only in wrestling, but in all sports. You could just see the look in Strickland's eyes, looking at it when he was introduced, looking over towards his friend, really concerned about what has been said, and you can look at Ricochet where he's saying, you know, I don't give a damn. Think about me what you want. Just two very different looks from two very different guys. Referee Frank Gassino giving the instructions, and I thought that you might get some trash talk right there, but they both just kind of yeah. biffed. Yeah. The, the, that nonverbal look. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. It's basically what they said. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go way back now, okay? I'm going to go way back. Wahoo McDaniel used to do that. He used to get in these big feuds, but when he would come in the ring, he would stand in the corner nonchalant and wait for the bell to ring to let his action speak for himself. It's amazing how well they know each other, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's, and that's why they're so tentative right now. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? What's going to happen here? I mean, how do you counter? On, how, how do you get into it? See? Yeah. I mean, how do you get into a mat when, when you know what the other guy's going to do? That knee up right there just shows you how much Strickland knew what Ricochet was going to do there. Just put the knee up, casual little block that time. And look at the, I can just see it in his eyes. I mean, it's just, he knows he's wrestling a guy that's meant a lot to him. You look at the demeanor of Strickland and the look on his face, and he, he seems almost a little more, I don't want to say agitated, but it, it seems like Ricochet, right now anyway, he's sending off that tone that, hey, you know what, kid, you're not that good. Yeah. You have to beat me. Look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly right. And Ricochet walk. You know, this is, this is not surprising, this beginning of the match. Not surprising at all. No thanks, I'll take the high road. <laughs> really, when you look at this match on paper, it comes down to this. Will the hungry breakout star, Shane Strickland, can he dethrone the king? Strickland, right now, holds multiple championships, regional promotions around the United States, but really trying to make a statement for himself here in MLW. If he can beat Ricochet, you have to think that that's going to put him on the top of the mountain. No champion yet here in, in, in MLW, but if that does come to pass, you'd have to put the winner of this match at the very, very top of that mountain. No question. And that's why this match and this event is so important to all these guys, especially here in this main event. You know, I had a chance to spend some time with both. And both are very likable guys, but there's a sense of arrogance that Ricochet has that that I don't see in Strickland, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. You know, I always thought, had a great announcer tell me one time, Jim Ross told me, you got to think you're the best in the business. If you don't think you're the best, you shouldn't be in it. And he was talking about announcers, and he was talking about wrestlers. Ricochet thinks that. At some point, you have to be able to acknowledge your weaknesses, though. Yeah. Because if you constantly think you're the best and you don't think that there's anything you can get better at, that's when you get shown up. Yeah. And you, and you wonder if that's where Ricochet is right now. Right. But if you acknowledge your weakness, that's an open door for them to take advantage of it, too. Fair enough. Maybe just don't acknowledge it publicly. Exactly. <laughs> But right now, it is Ricochet trying to set the tone of this matchup, going to work on the ankle. And the 
left extremity. So, Shane Swerve Strickland. You know, I, I had really thought the, the opposite because Ricochet is such a great high flyer. I thought that Strickland would try to take the legs away from him early in this match. That's not happened yet. Of course, with the offense so far here by Ricochet, he's not enabled Strickland to get any offense so far. The journey of Shane Strickland. Guy who spent some time in the military, had to sneak in his professional wrestling training. Mm. To rise to the level that he has as quickly as he has. And to be in a main event here tonight against Ricochet. Again, the top free agent in all professional wrestling. Mm. That says a lot about the character and the work ethic of somebody like Shane Strickland. Absolutely. And when you have that military background, you're very humble. And that's what we've seen for, with him so far. Now, of course, you know, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's just trying to get the emotions out of him. That's all he's trying to do. So tentative, both men when they lock up. I was going to say that. Yeah. The, the word you used early on, how tentative both yeah. of these guys are. And, I mean, there is obvious his reason for sure. that. Still a, a very much a feeling out process. Neither guy wants to make that first mistake. And so far, there's been no mistakes. Here's where a mistake can be made. I think over the years, Tony, some of the close friends that have had to come to blows in the middle of the squared circle. Oh, yeah. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We've seen brothers go at it in the squared circle. Yeah. Close brothers. So it happens all the time. Look at that maneuver. Oh, my. <laughs> and Ricochet lands uh, right on his feet. He is so agile. He is so agile. Over he goes. Spectacular. Wow. Get himself free. The fireman's carry. Maybe going for the better drill. Oh! No. Strickland knew it was coming. Yes, sir. Strickland knew it was coming. And wow! Like the Matrix. Able to get out of the way of the kick. <laughs> and look at it. Ricochet can't believe it. Absolutely. Well, well said, Rich. Okay. Yeah, I know. You know. And now he's probably got to rethink his strategy here. But then again, you think coming into this match, what was the strategy? I love counter maneuvers, love them. And we've seen in the first, what, three or four minutes of this match, great counter wrestling. Strickland doing here? Once he's out of the corner, just trying to swat his legs and bring him back in the ring, I guess. No. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I think that may have been the first mistake of the night. It may have been. Yeah. Ricochet may have put his guard down yeah. just a tad. Just a, a tad, right. But again, like we said earlier on, Strickland, know, he knows everything Ricochet is going to do. For right. the most part, Ricochet knows everything that Strickland is going to do. Right. I wonder if maybe the X factor in this matchup is the fact that Strickland has, really has been it. training with Seth Petrozelli, right. we saw earlier in action tonight. And that means a lot of striking, like we saw right there, submissions. So that may have helped him out. Oh, he's going for a submission right here. Shoulders are down. Oh. And Strickland. Hang right on to it, fella. Nice job to get out of that pin and float right back over and keep the, yeah. the hole locked in. Keep Ricochet grounded. You always have a better chance when you do. We talked about striking, working with Petrozelli, and we talked about submission. And here's what we're seeing, a little, couple submission holds here. Look out, he's driving the face, the ear, down into the mat. But no submission here. He's trying to wear Ricochet down and yeah. cranking that shoulder back. 
I, I like it. I, I think it's great strategy here. The pressure, like you said, Tony, on the, on the head. Yeah. And now the, the neck and, and the shoulder twisting the opposite way. Wow. He's trying to weaken the arm of Ricochet. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. That can hyperextend an elbow. Heck, that can break an arm. You see the way the, the hand bent back? Right. Cool. And Ricochet favoring the, uh, the bicep area. He's clutching uh, Nat and Uncle Rad. Did some damage to the entire arm. Yeah, I think so. And but 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 still, no! even, oh my! Even though he's working on the arm, he wants to keep Ricochet off his feet. And Ricochet doing a smart thing here, getting the corner. But Shane's not going to let him stay there. Strickland has found the target. continues to attack. I think we're seeing a lot. I, I think we're seeing a lot showing how Strickland has developed. Look it up, baby. Look it up. You mentioned this before. He trained harder for this match than yeah. any other. Yeah, and, and in, it's in showing. His career, yeah. Right. And, and you can see the look there on the on the face just momentarily there of, of Ricochet. He was he, he kind of looked perplexed. I don't know if that's the right term or not, but I don't know if he expected to see this type of strategy or see this type of grounding and submission holds that, that he's seeing right now. These are two of the, the top high flyers in the business. Right. Guys who can pull out incredible sure. aerial maneuvers, and instead what we're seeing really is, is a submission style sure we are. and that based attack. And you know what? And, and I know fans love the high spots. I understand that, and I, I know they love the aerial assault. But I like this. I, I like a, a definite strategy, staying with it. I like high impact blows like that. And I think it's been a great game plan. That's all. Basically an open hand slap yeah. across the back of the head. Nothing wrong with that. Go right back to the point of attack again. Ricochet trying to tie himself up in the rope. Yeah, that, that's pretty good defense right there. Whoa. Holding on tight. Yeah, but, oh, Strickland again after the left arm. Holding on tight, but as he's holding on tight there, Rich, he's stretching out the other arm. So I understand what he's trying to do, but it, it's not helping things here. Uh -oh. Basically gave Strickland a wide target. Strickland misses with the clothesline. Ricochet picking up. Whoa! What a kick! What a drop kick! We almost saw a guy drop kick another guy out of the ring. He almost went flying completely out of the rim. My God. Pal. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just needed to say that. But back in the corner they go. You're still favoring that arm here, Rich. It wasn't even really a mistake on the part of Strickland. No. Ricochet was just able to turn things around. And that's why he considers himself the king. Strickland bow down and take a knee tonight. Mm. Our main event, MLW one shot. King Ricochet. Shane Strickland. Strickland has been the talk of the, the wrestling world for the past year or so. Mm. Two guys with very similar styles who know each other extremely well, who know each other's moves inside and out. Strickland maybe considers himself the heir apparent to the throne of Ricochet, but Ricochet has other ideas. What a nasty uppercut that was a moment ago. Mm. That's a Dory Funk Jr. move right there. That European style uppercut. He gets so much on those blows, Rich, because he uses his legs. And we know how strong he is. And he's, oh, my goodness. He's absolutely amazing. Slingshot sent on. Innovative as well as he pulls himself back up right. and almost puts the, the shins on the top rope. See again those chops? He extends the legs, he pushes off with the legs, and that puts a lot more behind those blows. Wow. Kick works too now and then. 
Murphy still favoring that left arm, yeah. Tony. Yeah, it's been good strategy, but he's done a good job here now the last two or three minutes to keep the offense going the other way. And once again, Shane goes right back to that arm. spot submission maneuver applied yeah. ricochet center of the ring but again can't get all the leverage that he wants exactly I think on that left leg to hold him in place absolutely that's a good call maybe we'll allow strickland just enough to oh, maybe not wow maybe not into the cover that could do it no strickland able to get free thought for just a second tony is ricochet was trying to clamp down on the legs that it would allow Strickland just enough to, to, to maybe get out of that maneuver. And maybe Ricochet realized that was going to happen as well and instead said, you know what, I'm going to plant you instead. Yeah. Face first into the mat. So look at the five hits on uh, Strickland's face there. Yeah. Right before delivering that chop. Almost as if. Oh! Big spine buster. Almost as, as if Ricochet said, give me your best shot. Watch out here now. Wow. The people standing moonsault cover. No. Little play on the rock there. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not so sure that that Ricochet even thought he would be able to pin him with that. I, I just think Ricochet doing a little showboating here. <laughs> Hurt his own hand. Yeah. So now he's got his left hand. He's got a shake, and his right hand's got a shake. He got a kick in the butt uh, to boot. Kick it, well, that's pretty good. Yes. Kind of there. That's B-U-T-T, for those of you at home. Oh, oh my goodness. Here. Yeah, just pulling on those shoulders and ricochet. Seems to have maybe uh, unleashed a, a side of himself that we haven't seen up until this point in the match. It's kind of nasty stepping on his friend's hair. Pulling up on the shoulders. Yeah, and and that will do so much to that spine and you know guys who have wrestled in this this sport for many. Oh, oh my good. Spike DDT, ricochet for the win. Let's go. go. Kicking out of two. Keeping Strickland stayed alive. That's what uh, all the hard work that he talked about will do for you. Train hard. A lot of times you can not only execute moves, you can get out of them. Get out of penny combinations, and that's exactly what Swerve did right there. Ricochet through the the armband that Strickland took off, He's fired it right back at him, and the eyes of Shade Strickland. Fire in his eyes, throws it back at Ricochet, and now delivers a blow. One more. Oh. Again, look at the extension of the legs. It's like a baseball pitcher. Hard throwers use the legs. That's how they get the, all the power behind their arms. And that's ID what. by Strickland. Looks like the right now, Ricochet just hanging on. Yeah, well, it literally is. Oh. Yeah. Ricochet came down hard on his face. And look at Strickland. Oh, that's it. Cover him right now. But he can't cover him here, Rich. Huge cutter by Strickland, and what is he waiting for? Yeah, he, he's, he's waiting to, to get some energy to get back to his feet to try to do something. I mean, it's easy for us to say, crawl on your hands and knees and cover sure. him right now from way up here, but he just can't really follow up with anything right now. Just a spectacular maneuver. Strickland with a chop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chop may not have had the effect, but that one did. Surprised that these guys really have anything left in the tank. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the first part of the match or so was, I don't want to say slow going. It looked slow, but it certainly took a lot out of both guys. Sure did. That fat piece to close off a kick by Strickland. All right, Strickland covering here. There you go. Well, he rolled out of the way. 
Duke out there. Yeah, a little too late. One thing, though, you got to say in this match, we talked about the, the submission holds, working on one part of the body, being the arm. I think he's done a very good job of grounding one of the great high flyers. And I'm talking about grounding Ricochet here. Fans have their favorite, no question about that. 50-50 split here in Orlando. Yeah. What a main event this has been. Oh, he's not done yet. Nope. Back to the arm. Whoa. Had pinned the arm behind him. Down into the cover. Strictly trying to put it away, and Ricochet stays alive. Suplex ready to the turnbuckles. Surprisingly, was not enough. Yeah. Just great competition. Loving every bit of it. And I'm sure the fans are as well. Yeah, he walked in, telegraphed it. Easy pickings that time for Ricochet. And again, oh ho. What a drop kick by Ricochet. You gotta have such great leg strength to be able to get up that high, to be able to extend the legs and make the drop kick mean something. And, and it did that time. You know, we've seen drop kicks they haven't meant anything, guys will pop back up. That one has Shane Strickland reeling now. Ricochet. Trying to go for the better driller one more time. No dice that time. Strickland retreating to the corner. Ricochet trying to get some feeling back in the left arm. Strickland up and over. Floats through. And the pace starting to quicken one more time. Whoa! Ricochet, springboard! Big uppercut. No! Oh, there you go. Incredible maneuver into the cover. Running shooting star press. Yeah, and, and the first real big sign of emotion we've seen from Ricochet in the night. Angry, slapped the mat that time. Thought for sure he had it on that shooting star press. Now he's got to control those emotions here. Left arm obviously still bothering him. Great balance. Really. In the world. Oh! Stop! Good God! Strickland for the win! Did he get it? Oh, no, a two count. Oh, that was as close as they come. And the fans appreciated every bit of this. Why they call this Major League Wrestling, Rich. Two of the brightest stars that we've seen in a long, long time. Ricochet is spent. Yeah, and this is the point now that Strickland should take advantage of it. You know the adage, when you got him down, what do you do? Put the boots to him. Or something innovative, maybe. One. Ricochet rolls through. Strickland able to get free. Back elbow countered by a strike by Strickland. Oh, 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 that one found its mark, and that one did as well. Ricochet with a roundhouse kick. Oh. Ricochet with a little swerve that time. Absolutely. Go right back to the head. Oh! What a close line! <laughs> what a close line by Ricochet! Turns Strickland inside out, and both of them are down! 
a maneuver good enough to end this match, but he can't cover it. Now you can. Amazing. Up to five now. How's Strickland gonna get up after that? What does Ricochet have left? Referee up to the eight count. It stops the count. Both are, all the referees have been able to fight. Talking about determination. Right. These guys are digging deep. And, and Tony, you never want to lose to a friend, do you? No. You, you actually, when you're in the main event on MLW One Shot, you don't want to lose at all, regardless who you're facing. But yeah, you're right. That, that personal rivalry yeah. makes it, it mean so much more to these guys. Exactly. It, it adds another dimension to this match. Oh. Wow. I don't know if Ricochet's out on his feet or not. He had no defense for that right hand. He just was just a target. Well, there he's back up. It's almost like he's, almost like he's daring him to kick him. See, he's just looking at him. And again, great extension with the legs on that chop. Seems to be firing Strickland up. Yeah, it, this is kind of broken down to a little slugfest here now. This is probably a bit of oh, a much different match than I think people yeah. thought they were going to see here tonight. Yeah, and I think that goes back to his preparation, Strickland's preparation in this match has a lot to do with that. Well, I'm liking it. Man, am I ever. This has been fantastic. Oh! Launching German suplex. All right, King. What do you got? What else you got? Still can't feel the left arm. Uh-oh. Ricochet climbing to the top. Strickland laying prone. Yes, yeah, his domain up here. That's what he's all about. That's all it takes to neutralize things. Yeah, it, it took too long to get to the point of attack. <laughs> what can either of these guys pull out of the bag of tricks that, yeah. that, the, that the other hasn't seen? I know. The only thing you can do is, is do what they're doing here, Rich, and that is just kick and slap each other. Hope somebody makes a mistake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. High risk maneuver. Strickland setting up Ricochet. Perched on the top row. Yep, 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 Ricochet yep. knows what's at stake at this point of the match. Yes, he does. Oh. I think a lot of observers thought that Ricochet was, was unbeatable coming into this one. That he was on top of his game. Well, what is Ricochet doing here? He's trying to... Oh, oh no, my no, God. No, no. Hold on for dear life here, kid. What a counter by Ricochet. Yeah. And luckily for Strickland, he was able to get himself oh. free. He got himself oh. got himself free by a gut wrench. Oh, oh. Man. What a DDT <laughs> from the corner. Spiked Ricochet and no. Two and three quarters. Ricochet is down. Strickland going back to the top row. Strickland up high. Here he comes with the swerve stop. Cover. Well, if that won't keep him down, I don't know if anything will keep him down. We talk so much about Ricochet's offense, but let's talk about his perseverance here. Huh. Huh. Does anybody have anything left here? So you're going to see a main event like this. Yeah. I'm with you, man. MLW one shot. Uh-oh. JML driver maybe on the way. That's what Strickland has in mind. Ricochet knows what's coming, and he is desperate to get out of it. And he did. Mm, did he ever. Strickland counters. One more time. Whoa, wow, what a counter. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, he didn't have a broken neck there. 
Bridging suplex, rolls through. And Ricochet! Going to the top! It could be time! Ricochet with the springboard oh, splash! There it is! Oh, he got out of it! Oh, oh my! Rich, everybody here thought that was it. Everybody here did. We talked about the frustration. Earlier on, Ricochet showing some emotion right there. Again, slamming the mat. Yeah. Now Ricochet getting tied up with the fans here, which may be a mistake. Yeah. Well, that may be the one thing that yeah. it's what we talked about. Sometimes it is, it is the smallest, sometimes what you may think being the most inconsequential thing that costs you. When you get in, the, when you get in a venue like this, it's everybody's close proximity. Sometimes you hear things that you normally wouldn't hear. Ricochet going to the top. Strickland is down, and this could be the swan song. Strickland out of the way. No. And that was right on target. Got to follow it up with something, though. Look at, the, yeah, look at the determination he's faced on that. Doug deep. Oh, what an insecurity by Ricochet. Uh oh. That's it. That's it. Yep. One, two. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, my. No. They are absolutely pushing each other to the limit. Pushing each other to the limit. And you know, there's a lot of things that have happened in this match, Rich, we didn't expect. I think we expected this. We expected to see both these combatants push each other to the limit. These guys have pulled out every signature move. Yeah. And they've had a counter for everything or a way to escape so far. Remember by Ricochet moments ago, he calls that vertigo, the inverted face lock, into a sit-out scoop slam driver. And I don't even know how Strickland is even up from that. I don't know how he's stirred. And yeah. Ri Ricochet seems a oh, spit at his friend. What? What is that about? He's angry. Well, I, I, I understand that, but... It must be a, a, a it must be some sort of mean streak within Ricochet for something like that to happen. Oh! Strickland on the reversal cover. Uppercut. Ricochet didn't get enough of that. Strickland. Going for the arm submission, that injured left arm of Ricochet. Quickly out of it, though. Back slide, perhaps? No. Oh! High knee! Beautiful move. Absolutely beautiful move. Coming out of that, what looked like a submission hold. And as he moved over to the front, he met the knee. Almost a modified go to sleep. Ricochet is out. And Strickland is kind of taking his time here, Tony. Stop it away on the head. Referee might have to get in there. Back into the arm submission. Again, the injured left arm of Ricochet. Will he tap? Will Shane Strickland? Notice how he's got the legs locked right across the face. Yep. Will he pick up the victory here with this arm submission? Yeah, two things here. On the arm, cutting off the wind supply. You see as he's trying to pull the legs across from his mouth. And he might be caught. Uh-oh. Look at the strength of Ricochet. Incredible strength. Incredible strength of Plant Strickland. Both of these guys are completely gassed. What an incredible main event. You're not kidding. Ricochet setting off for the better driller too. No, Strickland. Strickland grabs hold of the leg. Back in the arm submission.
action. Will Ricochet tap? Stay with it, kid. Stay with it. Look at Strickland just trying to stop away at the head of the arm. Yeah. Of Ricochet as Ricochet reaches out for the bottom rope. And now instead, Ricochet is sticking the toe out and the leg trying to break the hole. Tapped out, he tapped! How about that? A sound strategy gives Strickland the win. Working on the arm, staying with it, and it was just too much for Ricochet. Hey!